Good afternoon, guys. Scott here. Um, long time no uh, no video. Like I say, um, I do uh, I do say sorry. Um, due to the lockdown, there's not a whole lot going on um, around the house. Doing a little bit of uh, ah, try a little bit of baking here and there. And uh, today we're gonna do uh, what I like to call my special homemade pizza. Um, I tend to wait with the dough. Um, I do use frozen dough, and uh, I think I have a video of that, which I'll insert here. And uh, now that if you saw a dough that was frozen, I don't mind using it. Um, it brings out different enzymes and whatever, um, and it it does taste different than fresh dough. Uh, good, bad. I do like the um, frozen dough a little bit more than the fresh dough, um, but you know, to each their own. So I've already. Uh, I'll just step aside here, and I've already. Uh, I've already got myself the uh, bacon done, and uh, you know you have to you have to have bacon on your pizza. And I have my little uh, my little sous chef down there. She, uh, old Lexi, she doesn't she doesn't go too far away whenever her, uh, dad's got uh, is in the baking spirit, and uh, ran out of counter space. So there's my muffin tins whenever I get a inkling to make fresh muffins, but that's normally not me. Debbie enjoys doing that, um, my missus, and uh, she's actually a very good baker when she wants to be. But it's all dependent on if she wants to. But uh, anyways, I will, uh, it'll, it'll be the afternoon. I was sitting outside the first time we've actually had some nice, I'm not going to call it warm. It's probably right around 50, 52. Uh, that's not warm to me. Um, I'm like a lizard uh, because I have to expend so much energy and heat during the winter uh, here in Canada. I just totally dislike the cold. And since I've had my operation, uh, I, I find the cold actually does a lot uh, I have a lot more pain in the winter. So, um, you know, it is what it is. It's not like I can move down south. Uh, not unless uh, the doors open, Mike, Fowler Farms. Um, he was just joking with me this morning that, you know, how can uh, somebody from up north cheer for a down south team like LSU? Well, and I, I simply told him that I was born to be rich in the south not poor in the north so you know if you got a spare room mike i know the i i think you've only got one boy left and uh, one traveling for the military so tanya got room anyways we will uh be back in a minute and i forgot to say when i say homemade pizza i even grate my own cheese just the way it is a fresh pizza no, well, it's store-bought, whatever, but I can grade it, and uh, it's just the way we like it. All right, folks, I thought it was uh, probably a lot faster to do it this way. I just put everything out so uh, I could show you, except for the bacon. It's all cut up, ready to go on top, and uh, we got our mix master. My hands aren't that well today, so, but it's a very simple recipe. Can't go wrong. Uh, what I try to tell everybody, I don't care if you make bread, buns, you can't go wrong. As long as your yeast is active, you you might put a little bit too much water in. You can always put a little more flour. You can add a little bit of water. It's all dependent. But this recipe is so silly, simple. It's two and a half cups of warm water, which is right there. And you got a quarter cup of sugar You've got a quarter cup of vegetable oil. I don't use vegetable oil. I use extra virgin olive oil and I've never had a problem. 
you've got six cups of flour and two table or teaspoons of salt. That's it. And uh, that's three tablespoons of yeast. So uh, what I'm going to do now is add the water, the sugar, and the yeast, and wait for it to start uh, froth up. Uh, probably five to ten minutes, and then after that, I will uh, add the oil and uh, gently start adding in the flour. But I'll try to show as much of that process without, uh, you know, uh, getting flour all over myself, the kitchen, or everything. Back in a second. My fault, sorry guys. It, uh, it had bubbled up and so I added about, uh, I don't know, half, three quarters of the uh, uh, flour. I also put in the salt. Now I'm gonna leave it run for about five to seven minutes and uh, I'll come back in. So this is what we got after about uh, six minutes of mixing. We've got, starting to get elasticy, but uh, it's also, uh, like I said, it's about 50 degrees and sunny here today. Uh, we did have a lot of moisture, so I may have to add a little bit extra um, dough, or flour, I should say, sorry. And uh, from there, I will uh, put all six cups in, and we will go from here and see what, where we are. I'm going to, uh, like I say, I'm going to add in the rest of the rest of the flour and then we'll uh, leave it mix for about another six to seven minutes and then we will see where we're at. We may put a little more flour in or we might hand knead it too uh, to our exact, uh, you know, so that it's not so elastic anymore and then I'll put it in my bowl that's already pre-oiled and uh yeah we would sit for 45 minutes an hour okay sorry guys kind of cheating a little bit i've got uh my dough already pressed out got all my toppings i got mushrooms i got pepperoni uh, what else have i got there i got sausage bacon mushrooms and i did cheat i have to admit i did cheat metro this is the same pizza sauce that they use on their pizzas in their deli. I cheated. All right, so here we go. This is what you call a fully loaded pizza. You got bacon, pepperoni, mushrooms, and then you have sausage. This whole half is sausage, and then down this end. And uh, now it's just to put cheese on and put it in the uh, fridge. Or fridge, yeah. That's where pizza goes, you know, guys, in the fridge. Wow, I'm not tired at all. And uh, this is the one my daughter made a little while ago. There's uh, mushroom, pepperoni, and I think there might be a little bit of bacon on it. Anyways, she makes her own. And uh, I gotta say, yummy, yummy, yummy. All right, here's the finished product. Sorry guys, it uh, kind of disappeared quick as it came out of the oven. So, that is tonight's pizza. And of course, there it is. What it looks like, there's another one in there. And I'm told that one's for lunch. Anyways, if you don't mind, if you're not subscribed, welcome, subscribe, like, and uh, share the videos. It's the way, uh, only way I can grow. Thanks for coming out, guys. Oh, oh. look at that. It's starting to turn. Nom, nom, nom. All right, so, clean your grease. Get into your bowl. And of course, there we go. We've got a side to 
cool down. Yeah. I've already put a little bit of, always put a little bit of cheese in the bottom. It's just the way you do things. Now, yeah, this is a proper Canadian for 10. Anybody makes it any different and they don't use cheese curds, it's just not right. So, there you go. Put your cheese curds on. Then you give it a little dopple of gravy. Now, there's a Canadian put in.